following is a presentation of TFNN. Trade what you see with Larry Pesavento. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648 or internationally at 727-873-7618. Now, Larry Pesavento. Okay, boys and girls, guess what? Boys and girls, we are riding into the sunset really soon. Boy, my days are numbered to doing this stuff. I just can't take the frustration anymore. I worked for two hours getting this thing working, and I had it all working, and then when I get ready to start the show, nothing's working. I don't need this. I really don't. I mean, yesterday I did all kinds of work talking about natural gas and the importance of the valid trend line and also the 20 minute line and all that stuff. I did about 13 different charts. Do you know one person asked to see those charts? Folks, that ain't worth it, pal, to me. I'm telling you, <laughs> it just isn't. But I'm going to just talk today because I don't have any charts and I don't, frankly, I don't really care. But if you'll take a look at natural gas yourself and look at the ABCD pattern, what we had was a break of the valid trend line, and we made a perfect ABCD to the down today, believe it or not, at uh, 472. Now, the news on CNBC today was that there was a very big natural gas shortage in China, and they were buying hand over fist. Well, it went from 650 to 480, 472 while they were buying hand over fist. They also, they talk about rolling blackouts in China, all total BS. Gold, coal has gone from 280 a, a ton to 140 a ton in, in three weeks. Okay, now the gold, we talked about that yesterday, the importance of 1847, that once we got above that, it was very, very bullish. And we did, we got up to 1870. The AB, the large daily ABCD that I'm unable to post to you today, comes in at 1879. That's the double, double ABCDs up there at that level. That's why we went above 1847. It had to be going to that level. Uh, we've been very, very bullish gold. We pointed out to those of you that were listening yesterday that the uh, the pattern that we had on the gold market was just extremely bullish because of the thrust that came out of the buy at at seventeen sixty. It just went straight up. I mean, without any without any, we've we've rallied over a hundred and ten dollars an ounce, folks, in a matter of uh, four trading days. I mean that that's a tremendous that's a tremendous bullish thrust, and not only that, but open interest is increasing also. So those are just a few of the things that we're watching. The main one, of course, uh, was the Treasury bonds. We had a beautiful ABCD sell. We we posted that into the room yesterday, and with the small charts that we did have, and frankly, folks, this technical stuff uh, they they win. I, I give up. I flat out give up. I just don't. I just can't stand the frustration. I worked two hours today getting this thing done with the people at Hotcom. Everything's working great. I did exactly. I wrote down exactly what to do. When I try to put up the chart, nothing happens. Maybe Al can help at the break. But frankly, it just isn't worth it anymore to me. I enjoy being with you guys here, but not being able to communicate. And whether you live, whether you live, believe it or not, I, I don't really. It's up to you. I mean, you you decide what you have to do. But uh, it's just a little too frustrating for me. Now, I had a really nice email that I wanted to send you. If you remember, we had an email from uh, our friend George uh, week uh, last week about Tesla that he was bullish, and uh, he, you know he was long to Tesla from nine. I forget what the price, I think, $900, I guess, and it was trading at 1200 And he had the question about uh, what what he should do with it. And, and I remember saying this right on the air to him. I said, George, when you have to ask the question about what you should do with the position, you're in doubt. That's the number two thing on this painting behind me. And that is uh, never add to losing position is the first one. But, you know, when you when in doubt, get out. So I said, get out. And, you know, he sends me the email. And I, I have to read this to you, folks, because this was really quite funny. Hold on. Hold on just a second here. 
Let's take a look here. It says, hi, Larry. The price of Tesla dropped after you scream sell eight days ago. Thanks a million. <laughs> Folks, if I scream sell, it was a whisper. All I said was just be careful up there because if you have a question about it, that's really what you're, uh, that's really what you're looking at. So there's nothing more that you could have. Regarding the uh, the natural gas, that 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 was a textbook, folks. I mean that 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 chart was just absolutely so perfect. And then it makes a perfect ABC to the downside today, and it's already rallied uh, sixteen hundred dollars. Now this is the kind of stuff I'm going to be looking at when I'm doing the uh, the last trading uh, event with Mr. Hugard. Hopefully we'll be be able to get Tom in there with the technical stuff. I'm not even sure, but we'll do fine no matter what. Uh, we had a couple of good things uh, to look at. The the main one la this morning, folks, and it happened so quickly. You know, gold went up to 1834. That was a smaller ABCD. It dropped at 12 dollars an ounce, which all the corrections we've had over the last three days have all been 11 or 12 dollars. So it stops right at 1822. And I'm watching this, and I see that my beeper go off at 1822. Okay, that was a place. And the next time I had, I didn't even, I didn't even blink an eye. It was trading at 18.42. It jumped 20 dollars that fast on its way. And once we went through 18.47, that was the number we talked about with Mr. Z yesterday. Is that once it went above that, uh, the smooth sailing. And believe me, folks, I believe that we're probably backed off $15 just a minute ago, stopping exactly at the 382 uh, at 18.53. Now, as long as gold doesn't get below 18.53 today, I still think it's on its way up to that 18.80 level. And uh, we get it once we get, should we get above, it's not when, when we get above it, uh, 1880, uh, we're going to see new highs on gold uh, by, by Easter time would be my guess. And that's just a wild guess. It has nothing based on cycles. It's just a, a swag, a sophisticated uh, wild guess. That's the main thing. I'm unable to post any charts. I'll try to work with uh, Al on this one more time. But frankly, uh, it just it just literally drives me uh, oh, totally up the wall. The other one, folks, I sent out a special video last night to the 24-7 folks, and I hope you took advantage of it because we became very bearish crude oil yesterday, folks. After it made that high at 85, if we looked at the total picture of the crude oil, in other words, if we looked at the natural gas, excuse me, if we looked at uh, gasoline futures, and if we looked at heating oil futures, and if we looked at crude oil futures, you saw a great, a big divergence. And the fact that open interest wasn't increasing was one thing, but if you looked at heating oil, just take take a look at heating oil, folks. The high today was an exact, went 10 cents, $10, 10 US dollars over the 61% retracement, which was the sell signal, and it's broken $2,000 today. And the same thing with crude oil. The crude oil went up, went right to the 382. Bye bye, crude oil down another $1,500. And then, and gasoline was the worst, folks. If you like divergence, remember they're raising gas here, uh, 15 cents a day here in Tucson. We're up to 350 a gallon now from 287 just about two weeks ago. All right. And now what we're doing now. Look at the gasoline futures contract, folks. It, like 20 minutes. <laughs> <laughs> like Tony would says, defy human nature. Do the work yourself. Go look at the crude. Look at the gasoline contract. The uh, the uh, the gasoline contract itself on the futures. Three lower highs. Perfect. We'll be right back. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. 
the Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. What's separating you from the most successful men and women on Wall Street? That's right, information. Having all the information gives us the perspective we need to place the right trades at the right time. The TAS Profile Scanner is the premier market profile-based scanner. Powered by its acclaimed TAS proprietary algorithms, this feature-rich scanner instantly filters over 2,500-plus global financial markets, such as stocks, ETFs, commodities, futures, and Forex. This powerful suite of tools leverages instant trade filtering and strategy formulation to show you emerging trades before they happen. For a limited time, you can save $100 off your first month by using the promo code UPGRADE. And you still get a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have nothing to risk. Level the playing field with the TAS Profile Scanner, which you can find under the Services tab at TFNN.com. Sign up today. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern for free. Each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Okay, folks, I'm planning to have Paula Douglas uh, as my guest tomorrow, uh, God willing, and she usually is. We'll be uh, watching that uh, very, very closely. But this crude oil market has made a major turn, folks, in our opinion, because of the divergence that we've seen between heating oil, natural ga heating oil gasoline, and the uh, crude oil itself. So uh, pay attention to that one. It's uh, Maybe it's short term. The other one we talked about yesterday, of course, was the bond market. We got up to that 164 level. We're now $1,500 lower. Uh, that was a perfect ABCD pattern. And uh, it was uh, that was one that was posted uh, in the room, only partial chart, but you could see the ABCD pattern that was there that was finished. Uh, there's a couple of charts here that I was uh, hopefully able to show, but not able to. I'm, I'm not able to bring them up. One was in platinum. Uh, we're looking at some, there's a possibility here, folks. I don't know if it's going to happen or not, but the, these metals have have woken up. I mean, they're uh, they they they've started to to move. So I think it's important that you start paying attention to these. Open interest has increased, not dramatically, but slightly in the gold and and the silver futures actually decreased, which uh, that was short covering. There's still no big longs in the silver market. If they start to come in, oh my God, stand aside, especially if these uh, dudes get up here with. The uh, uh, with this uh, Mimi or uh, what do they call these things, uh, Robin Hood and all this other stuff, you could you can imagine a silver being as thin as it is. It's one sixth the, vol uh, the vo uh, open interest of the gold. It could really uh, get a little crazy. So pay attention, pay attention to that one for sure. Now we've got a new uh, IPO coming out today, uh, Riven R I V N. That's a electronic truck. I think it sells for eighty five thousand, if I'm not mistaken. Correct me if I'm wrong, but I I believe it's going to be. Uh, I think it comes out for around 80 grand, and then also the other thing is that uh, it's being backed by Ford and Amazon. Amazon has a huge stake in this, and the opening indication I just saw a few minutes ago on uh, CNBC 
uh, no, on Bloomberg that it would the open it, it was supposed to open at 122. So I don't know if it's opened yet or not. Let me t let me look around here to see if there's trading. It. Nope, evidently the boss turned off the TV. Anyway, we uh, if anybody sees the first trade on Riven, if it's trading, I'd like to know uh, what it's doing. So uh, just to see how these things react to these, because they're they're going to raise. They wanted to raise 78 billion, and it looks like they're going to raise about uh, over 100 billion on this. But it's been in business since 2009, so it's been a uh, a pretty good play so far. Uh, the uh, yeah, it'll be in the yeah, Z said it'll be in the S and P just uh, very very soon. Not too uh, not too much about that. And they're only bringing out 15 percent of the float from what they're telling us here in the den. If you have any questions, folks, I'd be happy to answer them. If you just type them in if you want. If you want to call in, you know, may or may not. Al said the uh, lines are uh, fully open like they always are. So uh, if you do have any questions, I'll be happy. Another chart that I that I really wanted to uh, bring to your attention, attention was the uh, the way that the soybean market worked yesterday, folks. I missed an absolute, incredibly easy buying opportunity because I had pet, I had poured. Not only could I could get the charts done right, I didn't have any data for part of the time. By the time I saw it. It was too late. We had a perfect ABCD in the soybean oil, the December oil down there at 57 and change. It's now trading at 59. The same thing in soybean meal. It backed off right to the perfect 382 at uh, 330. It's now trading $1,300 above that. And uh, those were a couple that I was just unable to get because the data didn't line up. Uh, line up everything but last night uh, what what happened was uh, one of our subscribers who does you know what we do here uh, brought to my attention he said look at because I don't trade gas I haven't traded gasoline but twice in the last couple of years he said look at the difference between gasoline crude oil and heating oil and I did and I said oh my god I said this is a this is screaming sell and uh, you know it, it's exactly the way it turned out. So I, I I I appreciate Ralph sending that in to me because I uh, I hadn't seen it. If I had, I immediately sent out a video on it, explaining to you what was explaining to the folks what was happening. We weren't having big increases in open interest. New buying was not coming in to the crude oil. Then we see this tremendous divergence in heating oil, which should be going crazy because we we're start we got we got December starting De or <laughs> winter starts December twenty first and. This this is when the you know the, the the heating oil should be going crazy, and when you see news items like on Bloomberg today, the first thing this morning at four o'clock this morning, it said uh, you know coal they're rationing coal in in uh, in China, and they're also having rolling blackouts in China. Well. Sarah has friends in China, and she chats with those people, and believe me, they're not seeing any rolling blackouts as of yet. And we're talking about, you know, Shanghai and Guangzhou. But that those are still, you know, 20, 30 million people in each one. And when you see that and then you see the price of natural gas go from 6.5 down to 4.7 in the midst of what's supposed to be the world's worst uh, situation for supply demand. Give me a break. That's why I'm a technician. Now, today, ABCD, it's still in an uptrend. That's a big ABCD. We took out the lows of uh, last month. How, by how much? A dollar and a half. Hello? There was nothing down there at a dollar and a half. Now it's almost two grand higher than that. So that's just looking at the old Jesse Livermore stuff, you know, uh, try to watch what the market's trying to tell you. So that's the main thing of uh, what we're looking at right here. Also, uh, I'd like to show you some charts, but I can't, so I'm just going to talk about them. Hold it. Oh, yeah, I'm a blessed man. There's no question about that. The only thing I'm not blessed about, uh, Z, is computers. They don't like me, and you know what? I'll show you a magic trick. I can't show you that magic trick on the air. Anyway, but uh, I really think that uh, we're looking at uh, something pretty significant coming down the road here. Uh, in the gold market, and uh, whether that ha you know, but we're we're completing major ABCDs up here at the 1880 level. I'm talking daily stuff, so that's why it's going to be really interesting. Now, gold, if gold is really bullish, you're not going to see a trade below 1850 today. If you start seeing if you start seeing a, a trade below 1850, that would be the first sign that uh oh, they maybe this is it. You know, maybe we missed the top end by. 
by 20 or 15 or 20 dollars i that i don't know so we'll see you know you can see the silver well you can't see it what am i talking about anyway those are the things that uh, we're looking at uh, the, the gremlins are everywhere especially with the computer what's so frustrating is i got everything up and working perfectly i got it written down exactly what to do i tested it three times one minute before the show i can't get the i can't get it to come up I, how, how can that happen but it did so that's something that I have to uh, live with. So if you do have any questions today, uh, type them in. I'll chat with them if I can about this. And that's uh, really all the thing. You know, when I started doing this stuff, oh, gee whiz, 19, 1964, I got my first uh, ticker tape. I had a Western Union ticker tape for the uh, Chicago Board of Trade that was much bigger than the Chicago Mercantile Exchange back in those days. And so I was doing corn. And being, we didn't start trading silver on the board of trade until I believe 65 or 66, as I recall. But I would have that ticker tape. Hey, we'll take a little break here. We'll be right back. Are you having fun trading the markets, but having trouble finding like-minded individuals to discuss your trading and investment ideas with? Become an apex predator in the trading markets and join the Tiger's Den Trading Room only at TFNN.com. The Tiger's Den is an exclusive trading room where successful traders from around the world come to exchange trades and ideas. Join the den and surround yourself with the sharpest minds in the trading world. Subscribers to the Tiger's Den are also the first to have their questions answered live on air and can privately chat with our TFNN hosts live during their shows. Interact with other Tigers and Tigresses as they share trading ideas, news analysis, and discuss the market action all trading day. Subscribe to the Tiger's Den risk-free with our 30-day money-back guarantee and become part of the TFNN trading community. TFNN, educating investors. You could be making money off the stock market. And if you're already making money off the stock market, you could be making a lot more. Check out TFNN and Tiger TV and get expert investing advice to give you the power to control your financial future. Go to TFNN.com and find the newsletter for you. Whether you're into trading gold, metals, futures, currencies, or options, you'll get advice and analysis to help you seriously get ahead. TFNN also features trading services with a 30-day money-back guarantee for new subscribers, as well as TFNN's Tiger Den Trading Room, trading software, and educational webinars for all trading levels and make sure you check out tiger tv for free on tfnn.com or tfnn's youtube channel for live financial content from 8 30 a.m to 4 p.m eastern on market days stop watching on the sidelines while other people get rich and become the investor you were born to be tfnn educating investors TFNN is excited about our new software charting program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts. In collaboration with Tom O'Brien and using his best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System, David White has programmed an outstanding piece of software that will complement any trader's methodology. Using this first-of-its-kind program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts allows you to scan thousands of stocks for Fibonacci formation setups, including Gartley's, ABC's, Butterflies, and much more. The Art of Timing the Trade Charts is designed to help you when scouring the markets for stocks just beginning to form the trading patterns that many investors spend days, weeks, or even months searching to find. And right now, we're offering licenses available at only $79 a month. We are so confident that you're going to love this new charting software that will even give you a 30-day unconditional money-back guarantee. Don't miss out on this incredible new piece of software. Get your copy of The Art of Timing the Trade Charts today by visiting TFNN.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Okay, get back, folks. I was chatting about uh, 1964. I got my first Western Union teletype. 
uh, ticker tape, actually, you know, the kind you saw in the movies with the little globe over the top and the brass stuff is really cool. And uh, I had one for the Board of Trade. Later on, uh, they didn't do the one for the Merc because it was just small and you only had Goliath. Uh, didn't even have cattle yet. You did have, uh, I think we had pork bellies and I believe we had a few things. We didn't have currencies until 72 so it was really not much at the Merck. It was at butter, anyone trading in butter, stuff like that. But uh, the main one was uh, the fact that uh, we were doing it at the Board of Trade. We got a question in here from somebody. Is that true? And that is, we have Zach from Savannah. Mr. Z, mm -hmm. what's happening, Zach? What can I help you with? Uh Hi there. Um, ABC is where I want to be, Larry. <laughs> you got it, brother. There is no um, other than ABCD. Fire away. Uh, well, I have a twofer that deals with bonds and maybe a little bit of uh, your experience from the 80s. Um, one is about the spread between uh, the long bond and notes, uh, the 10 year mm -hmm. and the 20 year plus. Um, it seems like the 20 year plus and 30, the long bonds are much more bullish than the 10 year and sentiment mm -hmm. is much higher and overzooted, uh, on the bonds than on the notes. But, um, mm -hmm. that's, that's one. It looks like, you know, we're looking at kind of a yield okay. curve inversion. Sure. And, um, yeah. And the other, the other okay. is also about the bonds that's coming from, uh, a trader by the name of George Angel in the 80s. George um, Angel, I wrote knew him, a note. Yes. Did you ever hear of him? Or? Uh, I knew him very well, yeah. Okay, he, he wrote a note um, that said, don't fade the bonds after 1.30 central time, which, you know, 2.30 eastern. And I guess, I don't know if the 80s, the bonds didn't trade as late as they do, um, but... Um, no, they the, the, that they, they begin to trend yeah. in the afternoon and not to fade that trend. What do you think about it, or any other bond experiences you have? Well, the bond, the, the best time to trade the bonds is the first, uh, the first half, first four, four, first four, <laughs> first forty-five minutes of the day. The rest of it, I don't do that. Uh, uh, George Angel, he, I believe he was the man who brought uh, MACDs to us, as I recall. Uh, that's from memory, and usually my memory is pretty good. But let's get back to the relationship between notes and bonds and the spread. Mm -hmm. Okay, now I don't know if you're watching on CNBC or on my uh, the, the the Skype thing or not, but this uh, this pencil represents a spread. So you have the long side here <laughs> and the short side here. This is how it was explained to me by my mentor, John Hill. Uh, that mm -hmm. was 50 years ago, almost to the day, from 1970 to 2020. He said, Larry, he said, a spread is like a stick with shit on both ends. It don't make any difference which end do you go from. It's going to get you in trouble. So just trade the, the – uh, and that that is no longer a bad word based on the, based on the woke people. But I, I'm, a, I'm a flat trader. I trade the bonds. When I trade the notes, I trade the notes. I don't, I don't straddle between crude oil and heating oil. I don't straddle between the NASDAQ and the S&P. I trade each one of them right. separately. It keeps it simple enough to read. And I'm in the business of trying to keep my losses as small as possible. And when you have a spread on, you've got two decisions to make, long and short. And the worst thing is when that thing starts to go against you, sometimes it gets to be a real pain in the you-know-what. So mm -hmm. that's, why I, that's why I don't do spreads at all. The guy who's really good at spreads is Rich Anderson. You know, Rich is uh, – uh, well, he's been around for as long as I have almost, but he's an incredibly good spread trader. He, in fact, most of his stuff that he does – is in spreads on huge positions, and he he trades very large positions. So, that that, that mm -hmm. person that can can trade with spreads and use options, learn how to sell options, learn how to sell options, yep. the easiest business in the world. Once you understand that, you can you can just take these focus. A person that buys an option, the, his chance of winning is less than fifteen percent. The person that sells that option. 85% chance of winning. That, that you don't get that on sure. any racetrack or casino in the world. So I hope that helps, Zach. Well, yeah, I was thinking in terms of um, using it as kind of a barometer for market sentiment, and mm -hmm. the inversion of the curve is really kind of a negative for markets. It uh, tends to lead uh, recessions by three to six months historically. So mm -hmm. the 30-year going below uh, the 10 in terms of the market, the rate, 
is mm-hmm. uh, I don't I don't trade that spread, the bond spread, but I know people do. And um, mm-hmm. your points about options oh, are really great, um, but I, I don't get involved in that per se. There, I yeah. use other vertical spreads for things. Yeah. But um, yeah, but I mean, you know, to me, it seems like a a negative, you know, in terms of market sentiment um, that we're looking at a yield curve inversion is probably the language I should have said. Well, that that's that's all good. Now, someone else that's good at that is Larry Williams. Once in a while, Larry will send out a, you know, a, a, a video or YouTube or something about that, and then I pay attention to that. But other than that, I just look at the chart. If prices are going up, there's more buyers. If prices are going down, there's more sellers. That's what I really want to look at. And if I can't get that straight, I move on to something that I can see, and that's pretty what I pretty much what I try to do. Keep it as simple as possible. Well, hang in there with your tech issues, and I look forward to your uh, training next week. <laughs> oh, let me tell you, pal, this is a pain, and you know what? I, I have uh, all of my frustration as business act comes from this yeah. these computers, and I I buy the best of what there is, and yet it still doesn't like me. And I have the the well, I worked with Kathy. Well, you don't need to know. That. Hey, thanks for calling in, pal. I really appreciate well, it, and it's keep sending your emails. I enjoy reading them. I appreciate all your support and your education. You're a great trainer and mentor. Thank you. Okay, Zach. Thank you very much. All right, folks. We're looking at what's going on here right now. We've got the crude oil down now about uh, two dollars and a half from the high that it made last night. The sell signal came in today at eighty-four uh, forty. That was a sixty-one percent retracement. When we were hitting that, the heating oil was hitting the exact 61% retracement. The net, the gasoline contract was hitting the 385, 38% retracement with two lower highs, the 135 pattern, and uh, now it's uh, down quite a bit. Uh, so far, the gold has held the uh, 1853 level as long as it can stay above 1853. I believe we're going all the way up to probably that uh, 1899, 1900 level. Folks, when we get above $1,900 in gold, I don't make predictions very often, but when we get above $1,900 gold, you just remember reading the book, Reminiscences of a Stock Opera. He was incredibly bullish on the Southern Pacific Railway. Okay, and he thought it was going to go to uh, uh, 250, and it was trading it like at 130, and he was trying to buy it at 130, and all he could see was 250. He said, "All I could see was 250, so I had to buy it." So he bought it at 130, and of course it went to 250. But before it went to 50, it dropped 30 dollars uh, a share, and uh, he 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 got out of it because he he violated his. Uh, is way we got another do we have another caller coming in are you kidding me uh march coffee may have bottomed at 201 tuesday mr z has said and this is wednesday uh as long as it as long as that coffee can stay above 198 i don't trade coffee i drink it but stay it's got to stay above one 198 as long as you're above that you're okay okay Are you in the market for buying or selling real estate in the Bay Area, including the surrounding St. Petersburg, Tampa, and Clearwater markets? Tiger Real Estate LLC is a firm that has extensive experience in the Tampa Bay Area. Whether you're looking to sell your current property for maximum value, or you're in the market for a second home or investment property, Tiger Realty has the experience across all areas of real estate in the Tampa Bay area to help buyers and sellers make the most informed decisions across all price levels. From the price you should be paying per square foot in certain up-and-coming areas to the type of cash flow investment properties are capable of creating, Tiger Real Estate can help you make the best decision when it comes to all areas of the market. Before you make one of the biggest decisions of your financial future, call Tiger Real Estate L. LLC today at 727-329-8322 or email us at tiger at tfnn.com. That's 727-329-8322. Call us today. The technology around us is changing every day. With so much happening, it can seem impossible to keep up with all the information. 
Paperbyte's investment newsletter, The Technology Insider, is designed to give you all the information you need to understand the technology that shapes today's markets and tomorrow's future. David White has made his living staying on the cutting edge of technology. His weekly newsletter will give you specific recommendations for value tech stocks, as well as entry prices, target prices, and stops to set for each trade. Dave delivers his weekly newsletters every Friday with updates throughout the week. You can get the Technology Insider at TFNN.com for only $37.50. Sign up for David's newsletter, The Technology Insider, and get an inside look at everything the technology sector has to offer. Try it risk-free today with our 30-day money-back guarantee. TFNN, educating investors. Are China A-shares hot or not? If you trade China A-shares, now may be time to take a closer look. Trade CHAU or CHAD, Directions Daily CSI 300 China A-share Bull and Bear ETFs. China A-shares in either direction. Visit directioninvestments.com today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors, such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Okay, we're back, folks, and uh, using my proprietary oscillating oscillator, I just got a sell signal in gold at 1860. The stop is 1862. If I were doing the daily trading like we're going to be doing on the 17th, I would be doing that, risking $2, and we'll see uh, what's happening uh, with that. So we'll keep an eye on it. Uh, on the information, we have uh, COVID in the family, folks. My daughter in Denver was uh, diagnosed uh, uh, evidently, I don't know how, well, she's around patients. But anyway, uh, she's doing fine. She's home. She's self medic Well, uh, she's taking care of herself. She doesn't need any help uh, with anything. So she's doing fine. And our neighbor right across the street, Rita, who is 86, she's recently widowed. Uh, she also uh, has COVID. I think she got it from one of her uh, card. They play Canasta quite a bit. And I think that's where she got it. But she's doing really good. Also, uh, so everything's fine. So we remind ourselves of, uh, you know, we'd be thankful that we don't get this. This is the first two people that I actually physically knew that have actually had it. I went to my doctor yesterday for my physical, and I had a really great checkup. Uh, he said, uh, he said I had the, uh, what, 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 what was something he said? I had the mind of a 16-year-old and a body of a 90-year-old. But anyway, anyway, I made it through okay. But uh, I go for twice. I go twice a year now. Uh, once I got over 75, I, they asked me to start doing it twice a year. But I'm in really pretty good shape. Uh, other than I'm not overweight. I'm just 12 inches too small. If I was six foot four or six foot nine, I think I would be uh, be okay. But uh, right now, and there's not much I can do about it. But I'm other than that, I feel pretty good. All right, let's move on to a couple other things. Anyway, I'd be short the gold here at 1860 with a buy stop at 1863. Risking three bucks on that, I would have booked some really nice profits in natural gas. I'd, I'm letting the crude oil run because that puppy looks like it's a dying ghost up here. And with all the news yesterday about the, uh, uh, you know, dr drop in crude oil uh, barrels or whatever it was, folks, you you got you know one of the things you got to practice doing is if you if you're reading fundamentals and stuff, you got to practice doing one thing and that's stop. Because that stuff is late. I mean, it is flat out late. I, I can remember going in uh, Jim's office in, uh, uh, when I was in, in, in graduate school, and he had, he had a parrot named Oscar, and at the bottom of, the, pay, the, bottom of the, the cage was the Wall Street Journal. He said it was the only use he could find for it 
was the bottom of the parrot cage. And I have to believe that because when you see these news items, you have to start thinking contrary to what are they really trying to tell us here? We've seen this over and over and over again. And that that's why I don't try to pay attention to it. I really don't. You know, you know I miss a lot of stuff, you know, but, you know. When the push comes to tub, you got you're gonna have a few. Uh, when you get into that swamp, like Grandma said, you're gonna have to kiss a few frogs before you find the princess. But you'll be able to do it, and you do it on the old A B equals C D wagon. That's what you have to do. All right, let's move on here. Any other questions we have? Be happy to answer them here. We've got about uh, 12 minutes to go tomorrow. Uh, we will have Paula on the line. Paula Douglas. Uh, on the line because this was our fun time of the year uh, with Mark. Uh, he moved here in uh, 96 and he was here for four years before they moved up to uh, Scottsdale. And uh, we uh, we spent every holiday with him, uh, with the exception of Christmas and New Year's. That's when we went with the grandkids. But we had all the Thanksgivings and Easter's were always with the Douglases. And Mark was a chef. Uh, he was actually a master chef uh, when he was at Michigan State. That's how he, he uh uh, took care of himself as far as uh, uh, feeding himself, and he was a really great, great chef. And so we would go down to the uh, Gospel Mission, and we would cook turkeys for him on on Thanksgiving. We'd get there at third, three o'clock in the morning. We'd be there till oh seven, eight o'clock at night, and had a great time. I mean, they're meeting really wonderful people, feeding these folks that were having a a really, really rough time. And he continued to do that when he went up to. Uh, Went up to Scottsdale. However, here in uh, the health health department wouldn't let anybody come in to help unless they were actually working for the gospel mission itself. And I wasn't about to take a job at the gospel mission. So all we did was we, uh, Sarah and I, would buy the turkeys and some of the trimmings for the folks. Yeah, person. Perfect example of this. Yesterday, we're in the show. After we got back from the doctor, we had to stop in and pick up some uh, some uh, eggs. And uh, the Safeway, were, they were having a, a contest. They were having a feeding contest, and anybody that donated any money, they would give uh, they would give uh, a double the money. In other words, if they if you gave them five bucks, they uh, Safeway would match it for five bucks. They did this for a fifteen minute period. And so we were standing in line, and she looks at me and says, how much you want to give? I said, oh, let's give her at least $20, you know. So I doubled that and gave it to him. And that, <laughs> the bad part was the, the clerk gets on the air and says, oh, my God, we've got $40. You know, I said, oh, dear, I didn't want to hear that. But that's how crazy it is out there. So people are really having some trouble. I'm just trying to make up things as we go along, boys and girls, because I don't have anything else to say. I covered the stuff that I wanted to. I covered the crude oil. I covered the gold. I covered the bonds. It, but folks, these bonds don't have any support. You might think that they do, but they don't. They're going to go down a quite bit. Quite a bit. Uh, the natural gas has moved from uh, 72 up to uh, 96, I believe. Was it 96? Yeah, up to 96. It's now backing off to the 382 retracement here, and that's pretty much it. Uh, as far as the stock market, the only way the stock market can be bullish now is it makes a new high, and it can do that. I'm sure it can because it's got enough people out there. I don't know. Has anybody seen the first trade of a Rivi yet? Because I'd like to be uh, – uh, let's see, the question is uh, – Ten days straight. Oh yeah, Ruby saying about Mark Douglas about he. I remember that he he was long silver. He was long silver and he had too much on. He he only rated, traded bonds after I met him, but uh, he 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 was really good at, at short term trading, folks. He he really had that bond market figured out. He watched the opening price on the bond. Like today, perfect example in bonds today. Here here's a here's a really good idea. Uh, take a look at your 15-minute chart on Treasury bonds. You're going to see an absolute beautiful ABCD pra a pattern at 163.24 right after the open. And look at it. It breaks down, rallies up to the 382. It's trading $1,000 under that. So you're risking $300 bucks on a trade like that. That's another trade that would have been today because you're in trading the direction of the opening at the exact 382. See, look at the chart. I just posted it. Can't you guys see it? Shut the front door. Look at it. It's posted right there in the room under mysterious circumstances. <laughs> All right. Let's see what else we got going on right now. Um, let me see what we have right now. All right. What, if I were in this, 
I would raise if I'm in I'm short the gold at 1860. I would raise my st lower my stop down to 1861. I'd only risk a uh, hundred dollars from where we are right now. Shut the front door and raise the rent. I don't know if you know that comes from a movie called Support Your Local Sheriff, and the guy that said that was uh, Cleavon Little. He was the sheriff. He was the uh, he was the first black sheriff they'd ever had in the West, and they were giving him a lot of a uh, lot of trouble. And so he was, uh, you know, where that ver derivation of that shut the front door comes from, folks. Uh, you uh, you don't have to take a. Uh, uh, Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern. For free, each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com educating investors. Are you looking for a secured investment which pays you on a monthly basis? The Tiger First Mortgage Program may be the program for you. The best rate on a five-year CD in the country right now, according to bankrate.com, is paying 1% per year or $1,000 per $100,000 invested. The Tiger First Mortgage Program pays 7% per year, paid monthly, on secured, high-value, buildable properties in St. Petersburg, Florida. The investment is for four years, paying 7% per year, or $7,000 per $100,000 invested. Your investment is secured by high-value real estate in St. Petersburg, Florida. Your investment can be anywhere from $100,000 to $500,000. Do you want to make $1,000 per year on $100,000 invested, or $7,000 per year on a secured Tiger First Mortgage? The Tiger First Mortgage Program may be just the program for you. The Tiger First Mortgage Program pays 7% per year, paid monthly. For more information, you can call 877-518-9190. That's 877-518-9190. Okay, folks, thanks for joining me today on the PNM P &M, uh, Trading Hour. I'm sorry to be such a pain in the neck. It's my fault, folks. Honest to God, it is. Uh, I'm just not technically adept to pull these things out. I mean, it was working perfectly. TFNN helped me. Kathy at Hotcom helped me. Everything was working good. And, um, in fact, I was doing, I was posting in the TFNN room, I think, at 5.15 in the morning. And some of the folks saw it. But, um uh, Evidently, I'll get it fixed, but uh, when it comes to pushing the, the uh, button when it's actually happening, it's a, a little bit more of a, a little more of a problem for me. But I'll get it fixed, and I will stop P&M tomorrow, 
and uh, we'll, I think we'll be okay. Uh, try to help your folks, your fellow folks out there that are getting uh, COVID and stuff, folks. Uh, evidently, uh, more and more people are getting it because of the fact that uh, I guess more and more people have been exposed to it. But the fact is not as many people are dying from it. Um, my my doctor's practice, which is huge, he's only had eight patients, and six of those were severely debil- debilitated. They could have died at any time. So he only had uh, two patients out of 5,000 that, uh, and that's a big practice, uh, that uh, that died from it. So just got to be careful and make sure that you, uh, you know, keep your uh, distance when you have to and be safe. Live every day in an attitude of gratitude and may God bless And we'll see you folks uh, tomorrow with Paula Douglas uh, as our guest. And I will have charts working tomorrow. I don't know how long it's going to take me to do it, but this frustration stuff is getting to be a pain in the you-know-what. So what I'm going to do here is to uh, move my stop to break even now in the gold to 1860 and let you folks go on and have a wonderful day. Hope you can join me on the 17th of November. We'll have five hours of some really fun stuff to work with, and I'm going to be showing some of my super secret stuff. And if you believe that, I still have two shares of the Brooklyn Bridge. (laughs) Okay, um, that's it. Have a great day, and we'll see you tomorrow with uh, Paulus Douglas coming on at around 1130 uh, in the morning on November the 11th, which is Armistice Day. 